Hello everyone. I wasn't planning on doing a thrift shop makeover video so soon, maybe when my YouTube channel is a little more established. However, at a recent visit to our local thrift shop, I happened to stumble upon a treasure I just simply couldn't resist. I wasn't videotaping at the time because this was completely unexpected. However, here's a little reenactment of that event. Well, hello there. Honey, come here. What? Look. Aren't they perfect? The true embodiment of beauty. Strength. And glory. I'll have you. Needless to say, William didn't quite understand my vision at the time, but I got him anyway, and here's what I did. For this project, I wanted to turn four candle holders into only three, so I sacrificed one of them to extend the height of two. I first cut off the top tabs and then cut the wooden block into two separate pieces in slightly different heights. Everything was going great until So, William's camera is dead, like dead, dead. I apologize if the next few videos are not that good because I'll be filming on my phone camera. The next couple of tidbits are a little weird because it took me a hot minute to figure out that I had to turn my phone horizontal to film. So there's that. Uh, I'm gonna go back to work. Sorry. Okay, moving on. The shortest of the candle holders will have an arch in it. To cut this out, I used the table saw to slowly cut through at different heights to create the rounded look. This is a very rough cutout, but since I will be covering it with clay, I did not bother to sand it smooth. After all the pieces were cut, I sanded off all the wood stain to give me a raw finish to adhere the clay to the wood. Using the two pieces I cut previously, I glued them to the remaining candle holders. And clamp them together to cure. Most crafters would have used liquid Sculpty to stick clay to wood, but unfortunately I spent all my money on the clay. So Elmer's glue will have to do. But no worries, this worked just fine. I lay down a thin layer of clay to each candle holder as a foundation for the actual sculpting.
For the bricks of the castle, I mixed two different colorways. One with black and gray clay, and the other with dark and light browns, tan and black. The darker bricks will be the corners of the walls and the outline of the archway, and the brown will be for the remainder of the walls. I staggered the bricks and cut some smaller ones here and there to give a more natural feel to the stone structure. For the top of the turrets, I put down a layer of brown clay and then made brick lines using a wooden tool. To add texture to the stone, I made a ball out of aluminum foil and then rolled the ball all over the clay bricks. I added green clay along the edges to some of the bricks and using an old seam ripper, add a bumpy texture for the moss. and into the oven to bake. Once all the castle turrets were baked, I gave them all a dark brown paint wash. And with that, I was done.
So, did you like this video? Did you hate it? Please, comment below. If you want to see other videos like this, please like and subscribe. I hope to see you again.